So Rupiki Shori is going to change costumes right now. She's about to do a, an amazing item on Lord Shiva. It's going to start out with a dance battle between Lord Shiva and Thali. Thali and Shiva are evenly matched. Who's going to win? <laughs> so stay around. And then after that, she will be presenting the Thalana, the 63rd one that our Gopal Venka family wrote. Right now, we would like to introduce our orchestra. And we'd also like to showcase them. We'd like to give them an opportunity to play something for you because so much of an Arundi drum is them. I mean, really, they're carrying it, right? The dancers dancing to their tunes. <laughs> so, um, should I? Should I read the bios that we have? Okay. I don't have my phone. Okay. He did he scan the QR code. So yeah, any of you who would like to follow along? Let's, uh, let's... So this is what it looks like if you scan the QR code. We have here about the orchestra. This is a big deal for her. This is her debut singing performance. It was a, how long ago was it? It was about a year ago, perhaps. And that's funny, I'm seeing messages. Yay, you scanned the QR code. I'm <laughs> Vidya. Sudanti's oldest daughter, Vidya, she's with us today. She's with us virtually. She knows what's going on. So yeah, it was about a year ago that I was on the search for our orchestra that you see here today. So I prayed to Radhika Lokananda that morning. I said, first we need to find a vocalist. Please help me find a vocalist. Little did I know that that same morning, Gayatri had gone. She was in town. She was at the temple, actually. She went also to Radhika Lokananda. And she said, please, allow me to engage my singing in your service. So she was down in the kitchen. I went downstairs to get prasad, and I hear this beautiful Carnatic singing coming from the kitchen. And I opened the door to Gayatri. I said, will you sing for all of our, our Adami drums? Because there's three. This is only the first one. She said, yes. And so she was the beginning from there. We, by Krishna's mercy, we found all these other amazing artists, and then finally, Gopal agreed to join us. And we were joking yesterday. He's like our Atlas. He's carrying the world. <laughs> he's teaching dietary, and frankly, he's also teaching me. And he was helping, obviously, with the sound, as you could see today. It disappeared. <laughs> Gayatri Chintalapati began her training in Carnatic singing at the age of four. Presently, she is studying under Gopal Venkatraman, who has helped her find her niche in the musical world. Singing through Panda Dance Academy's Arangi Trums was a prompt answer to a prayer she made before Sri Sri Radha that she be able to utilize her singing in their service. She's very grateful for the opportunity and to her mother, who is here. Yes. Hi, Mom. <laughs> for being the reason that she maintained her art throughout her childhood. Thank you. So, Sri Sudhindra Rao, I, I got his contact information from my dear friend, who is a beautiful Bharatanatyam dancer and also a dance teacher. She and I actually learned from Sudanti together when we were very, very young. Gorangi Priya, she's here. Where are you? Oh, she's here. So she's the one who told me about Sudhindra Rao. Sri Sudhindra Rao is a seasoned Redundam and Kanjira player 
He hails from an illustrious family of musicians. His grandfather, Vivan Sri Udra Narasimha Charya, was a court musician in the royal Mysore Palace and was an eminent Harikatha Vidwan. Sudindra learned the Dangam under Karnatak Kalashri Vidwan M. Vasudev Rao and Vidwan Vyasa Vitala on Kanjia. Sudindra has been performing since the age of 13 and has performed with several legendary Karnatic musicians and at prestigious music sabhas in India and USA. Sudindra has performed as a graded artist playing Ridanga and Kanjira for All India Radio Bangalore. Sudindra has also directed many percussion ensembles showcasing rare instruments, also collaborated with Western classical ensembles. Sudindra started the Laya Sinchana, an organization promoting Laya, rhythm, and has been teaching numerous children in Ridangam and Kanjira in the Triangle area since 1997. Sudindra founded Haridas Vaibhava, a non-profit organization to promote Indian classical music in 2017. Thank you so much for joining us. I have to say that it's, it's a delight. You know, I'm doing the uh, Natwangam and to do it side by side with the Mridangam working together, it's, there's just something so magical about the, the energy exchange. Thank you so much. So I'd like to introduce you to our violinist, Pranav Manjuma. Pranav Manjunath was born and brought up in the USA. He started learning violin from Srimati Tara Anand at the young age of eight in the US. In 2009, after relocating to Bangalore, he began learning from Vidwan Srimati Laguri Raja Lakshmi, followed by Vidwan Sri Yashashri, and is currently under the tutelage of Padma Sri A. Kanyakumari. Pranav, along with his brother, Tejas Mundrinath, known as Boston Brothers, have performed over 450 violin duet concerts extensively in India, USA, and Singapore. Pranav obtained first rank in the highest proficiency Vidva music examination conducted by the Karnatic State Music Board. Pranav is currently a first year PhD student in biomedical engineering at Duke University. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us. And our flutist, actually I also got his contact from my friend Gurren Vipriya. And I think you also gave me, yeah, I think, yeah. Partha Aji! is a much sought after flutist for South Indian dance performances under the tutelage of Guru Ranjani Ramakrishna and VK Raman. Partha has been expanding his musical repertoire for the past several years. As a float flutist, it's spelled with an A, that's interesting. Flotus? It is said flotus. Okay, thank you. He has traveled across the United States and has performed in over a hundred Arangi drums. In addition to the flute, Parta plays the Mridangam, Gatam, Danjira, and Nursing. Having completed his senior exams as a Mridangist in Bengaluru under the tutelage of Sri S. V. Giridhar, he has performed in several concerts in India and the US. Parta works as a software engineer and spends most of his spare time on the propagation of Indian music and looks for greater innovations in his art. Thank you so much. And now we have our very own Gopal Venkatraman. <laughs> Gopal Venkatraman is a renowned devotional and dance music composer and Bharatanatyam recital vocalist. He has been writing, composing, and performing vocal music for the Michigan's Vidyanjali Orchestra, that's my dance police orchestra, since 1992. He hails from a family which boasts of one of India's foremost Bharatanatyam Abhinayakam exponents, the late 
Padma Bhushan, Srimati Kalanidhi, Narayanan, and also got his initial music training at a young age from his aunt, the late Srimati Vijay Lakshmi Sitaraman in Chennai. Since then, he has grown to offer many devotional songs and items, especially for Bharatanatyam, and perform them live. He has written many Padalayams, Padams, Shabdams, Kaukvams, Jati Swarams, and Dilanas for Bharatanatyam recitals and Arangetrams and full length dance dramas, such as the Hindu Temple Rhythms, that's my teacher's school, Hindu Temple Rhythms, presentation of Daksha Yadnam, Sita Sayamaram, and Origins of Dance. Today's Dilana is the 63rd, especially composed for Rupa Kishori. Karnataka vocal music and keyboard to the students and works as an information technology principal in Las Vegas. So I think that our musicians have a treat for all of you. Karnataka is going to play Chinan Chirikriye, a Bharatiya composition, in Ragam Kapi and Ragam Kapi. Thank mm -hmm. you. 